Hey, you know it's crazy because yeah, I didn't want to take up too. I didn't want to sure. take up too much time, right? Sure. And, and 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 say because really, when I did it, I was in my truck. I, I took an hour, maybe two. I was just riding and I was just looking, man. I I had to tell myself. So I'm giving examples, right? For me, you know what I'm saying. I had to think to myself, you know, what would I put on my resume? What is some I would want the person I'm going to deal with to know about me that nobody else is going to know or maybe going to know, right? So, for example, um, if I'm laying in the bed with you, I, I, I'm going to want to rub my feet on you, or maybe I'm going to want to uh, spoon you, or maybe I want you to put your uh, leg on me and, and, and spoon with me. I don't, I don't know. You understand what I'm saying? I just, but it's something, it's on my resume. I want you to know the details. Maybe yeah. when I get upset, my temper runs higher than it needs to be. Can you handle that? When my temper goes from one to a million, can you handle that? What's your temper like? You know, and that's what I mean when I say be naked, be open with, because for one, what it's going to do, it's going to start letting you realize some truths about your, about yourself that you want to bury inside, right? It's going to start, it's going to start unveiling itself to us. And what's happening is as you start being honest with yourself, you can start pulling some of these layers off of you that you got because we become bag men and bag ladies, right? And start carrying so much on us that we don't know how to pull it. We're, we're hoarders. We're, we're hoarders of, of sorts of extra baggage that we don't need to carry, right? And sometimes yeah. we, when we start speaking this out loud and saying, this is what I am, then you can say, damn, I'm this. I got this bad attitude. My attitude goes from one to ten. Well, how do I fix it before I go to the next person? And once, once you can start doing that, you can start pulling off some of these layers on yourself. And guess what? You do that, and then you're going to start feeling lighter, a little bit less weighed down. And the person, the first thing we got to do is make sure that we can love ourselves completely and make sure we're making ourselves happy completely without nobody else involved. Because I don't want to have to depend on the next person for my happiness. I want to be happy when I go into the relationship. I want to be happy before I go into it. I want you to be happy before you come into it. You be happy with yourself. I'll be happy with myself and where I'm at. And when we get here, we're just two happy people instead of I'm depending on you or you depending on me. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Definitely. And now how easy it will be to, to you may not, you probably, you may not find unless you are sending this video out to millions of people, like every single one of you should be sharing this video. You, it Every may time. be hard to find someone that's in the practice of best practices because like we've been saying this whole time, that's not a common thing. But feel free to share this with the world so that we have more people in the practice of best practices. As you were speaking, I wanted to highlight a couple things that people could to help people start their resume. All right. Oh, so we got. Uh, likes and dislikes. And again, if there's anything you want to add or take away, we can do that. But I mm -hmm. think these are, this is a good way to get people started on building their resume. Likes and dislikes. Mm -hmm. Good habits and bad habits. Mm -hmm. Strengths and weaknesses. Mm -hmm. Hopes, fears. Mm -hmm. Goals and accomplishments. Mm -hmm. Now, with, with some of those things that I just mentioned, that'll, that'll allow a person to cover a lot of the stuff you're talking about and really know what they bring to the table, what they want to improve themselves in themselves. And they can start putting those things into practice, always going to the positive, by the way. It's, it's okay to identify a negative. In fact, it's mandatory to identify a weakness or identify a negative habit or a bad habit. What is not okay is to ignore it or to relish in it once you have identified it and to be afraid or not willing to put the work in to do the opposite. So the reason I put the the pros and cons kind of up the, the opposites of the habits is so people know, okay, it's okay to identify the, the bad or the negative, but then go to the positive and now put it into practice to make that part of your resume. Going forward. I knew you were going to say that because that's all I was thinking. Now you know the negative. You see the positive. Exactly. The negative. Well, you know, I, positive. Feel, I, I feel you. I know exactly where you I, I got you. I'm with you. So mm -hmm. I think it's a I think it's a great idea that you came up with. 
And shit, I think we really need to let people know to put it into practice. Practice, man. Practice makes perfect. You know what I mean? Thank you.